Start with those developments. The person who shot and killed a man at a wedding last night is still not in custody. The shooting happened at the reception at about 10 p.m. at a house near Marks and Jensen. And according to investigators, there could be about 300 witnesses. Our Megan Roop live at the Fresno County Sheriff's Office. And Megan, investigators need those wedding guests to come forward. Steph, Evan, exactly, and they say many people there actually took off after the shooting, possibly running in fear for their own lives, but investigators say any and every piece of information, no matter how small, could help make an arrest. Stacks of folding chairs, a deflated bounce house seen through a fence of the home where neighbors say a wedding reception turned deadly. Officials confirming a man was shot multiple times Saturday night left dead. Hundreds of guests possibly watching it all. It wasn't, you know, off secluded somewhere. It was right in where everything was taking place for the reception. Officials identifying the victim as a Hispanic male approximately 30 years old, saying he was attending the reception as a guest. The suspect still on the loose. It appears that there was some type of um, relationship there or um, they knew each other and that um, the shooting occurred stemming from some type of disturbance that they had but that they knew each other and it wasn't random. We spoke with one neighbor who says she's been to a birthday party at the residence before. They're nice. We don't really talk to them because we're kept to ourselves. We always go out of town. So. I've never seen them have a wedding though. They just have parties for themselves. Officials recovered a weapon and are analyzing it but in a case like this investigators say pictures and videos could tell the story and could lead to an arrest. Who was at the party, uh, what they saw, um, the events leading up to the actual shooting, um, just the smallest of details sometimes can turn out to be the most important. Now there were two other shootings last night in Fresno, but at this point officials don't believe any of these are related. If you have any information relating to last night's shooting or you would like to share what you saw, contact the Fresno County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live tonight at Sheriff's Headquarters, Megan Roop, KC24 Local News That Matters. Megan